An interview can make or break a job opportunity. In the past 20 years, I have attended many interviews and I interviewed a lot of candidates. And I would say an interview is pretty much like a sales pitch with one difference. And that is what you sell is your personality, your skill set, and your experience. So I'm going to break it down for you from the eyes of an interviewer and explain how you can present the best of yourself like a pro in three tips. So buckle up because it's going to be a long but life-changing one. Imagine you're going to a shop to buy something. If you had all the time in the world, you could spend it reading all the ingredients, doing a proper research, reading all the online reviews and asking around before purchasing the item. But do you? The problem is that most people don't have that amount of time. So what we generally do is to take a quick look, see which products have a better look, more catchy words, or the highlight on the package. And if the price is within your budget, you just go for it. The same role applies in an interview. When most companies hire someone, they're looking to fill a position in their organization and will not spend months evaluating the candidates. Well, some do, but not all. And that brings us to the first tip. The tip number one is first impressions are key. This is something we can all do easily and do excellently. From the moment you walk in, the way you carry yourself, your body language, your facial expressions, and your movement says a lot about you. So let's learn a few key highlights so that you can improve yourself immediately. Number one, put a smile on your face. That will help you to make yourself friendly, hide your anxiety, and create a mirror effect where people start smiling back at you. Number two, put your shoulders back, head high, and don't slouch. Make eye contact while communicating and nod while you are listening. Number three, put your hands above the table, visible right in front of you, and use them as you speak. That will help you to build trust. Number four, put your most appropriate clothes on. It really depends on what kind of organization you're going to go for an interview. It might be a smart casual or formal attire. If you're not good at this, get some expert advice to help you pick a nice one. These are some of the fundamental principles on the outside that I will look into when I interview someone. And that tells me a lot about you. So here's the mystery tip. You can always Google the company and the people that you're about to meet, see how they usually dress up, and you could follow their preferences if you get something similar. So remember this, people usually like people who kind of look like them, dress like them, share the same color preference, but don't tell them that, okay? Now, let's get into an actual interview itself. Tip number two, get ready for the opening. A typical interview will often start with the interviewer asking you, hey, how are you? A standard response will be, I'm fine. But you can distinguish yourself from all the other candidates by answering some of these lines such as, well, I'm very pleased to be here with you, or I'm so excited to have this opportunity to speak with you, and follow up by saying, thanks for inviting me for this interview. There you go. Now the person feels like, oh wow, that was a good start. And if you want to make it even better, find a compliment to throw in at the first opportunity to speak by saying things like, oh, great office, the ambience, the lighting, everything looks very conducive for a working environment. Or you can say things like, oh, I love the energy at the office. When I first got in, I received a bunch of smiles. It feels great. And there you go. You just killed it. And that was the likability point by itself. And that makes the interviewer feel very proud of himself and the organizations that he's working right now. Now, here's the tip number three. Get ready for the questions to be asked and to ask. An interview flow often depends on the organization and which stages of interview you are in. And that determines pretty much what types of questions you will receive from an interviewer. But for the purpose of the recording of this video, let's assume this is your first interview and the company doesn't know much about you. See, the questions that you're about to get, you can't really predict them. But you can be prepared for the common ones, such as, 
Um, would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? What an interviewer is generally paying attention to is how you put your story of life in a short message, which I strongly recommend you to write it down on a piece of paper and don't just review it in your mind. Because sometimes things look great in our head, but don't sound great when you voice them out. So make sure your story is concise and accurate and no lies. The second type of questions are competency-based questions, which pretty much go back to your field of work and what you have done before. But some key points to remember here is that pay attention to how you describe your experience. Don't just make it all about you. In the end, none of us achieve everything on our own. That means don't forget to give credit to your colleagues, your ex-bosses, your mentors, and anyone else who has helped you to get where you are. The next point is that whenever you explain any achievements in your past, also describe how they're done, how much effort it took, what kind of obstacles you have gone through, how you managed to get over those challenges, what kind of support it took. That will explain whether you possess a growth or a fixed mindset. The next one is that discuss matters beside your daily routine, whether it work-related, extracurricular activities, or other responsibilities you have been involved in that office. Make sure whatever you talk about, you share it with passion, enthusiasm, humility, and care. Interviewers generally look for people who are humble, hungry for success, willing to go extra miles, and people smart. That means they can get along very well with others and work as a team. Here's the final mystery tip. Towards the end of most interviews, you get to this question that the interviewer will ask you, hey, do, do you have any questions for me? And now, here's the most important part. Although we are here to learn how to present ourselves better, but I also believe we also need to choose a perfect job for your future. Can you imagine we spend more than one third of our lives at work? And it's very disappointing to work somewhere that we don't like it. This is an opportunity to evaluate your future employer. So here are some pro questions to help you make a better decision. Number one, what do you love about working with this company? Number two, what does success look like in this position? Number three, what is a goal that you are currently working toward in this department or organization? Number four, how will my performance be evaluated? Number five, can you describe who the people are that I'm going to work with day to day? And finally, if your immediate boss is in the interview, you can ask him or her, what is your pet peeve? Or in other words, what annoys you the most? If he or she is not there, you can even ask the interviewer about it. Try to understand their working style and how you can contribute the most. These questions will not only demonstrate that you are well prepared, but will also assist you in making sound decisions. But keep in mind that you should not ask questions that already available on their website or other public domain because that also shows you did not research the company in detail and don't really know who you are about to go for an interview with. So to summarize it, number one, first impressions are key. Number two, get ready for the opening. Number three, get ready for the questions to be asked and to ask. I hope you find this video inspiring and if you know someone who is about to go for an interview soon, it's worth sharing it with them. Thank you for watching and good luck with your next interview. Hey, my first book in control is now available for order. You can get it wherever you are from Shopee, Lazada, Book Depository, and Amazon. If you like what you see, click on the like button down there, subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on any of my new videos.